today we're at the John Charles Centre for Sport for our Leeds and Unsuch schools uh, high school rugby league finals. Um, so the best of the best schools playing each other today to be crowned uh, as uh, the champions of Leeds. Uh, so right through to September, from September, with uh, our development officers have been in schools delivering uh, curriculum lessons and after school lessons in PE. Ob obviously with the aim of promoting rugby league and their school teams, we're doing that as many high schools as possible. And then obviously the more the school progresses, the more support they get from us. Uh, and it's great that we, we see him on this, this stage on this good occasion. Fantastic, you know, full coach tonight, full with the uh, students in year 7, 9 and 11. Uh, many staff in the stands as well, so yeah, really good night for the school. Uh, uh, this year we've got two finalists there, we've got the uh, year 10s we played last week uh, and, uh, and the year 9s today uh, and it's been pretty good weather compared to the last couple of years. Uh, not wind very windy last week but um, yeah, this week's been really good. We love it, we enter it every year, uh, we enter the league structure to start with, uh, we've, um, we've played a lot of games through that. That's all, all years, uh, and then moving forward, uh, we've gone to the knockout stages, uh, and we, like I said, we've got two teams soon this year. So yeah, we, we enter it every year, and we think that it's really good for the, the students to uh, to play school. But just about enjoying themselves tonight, particularly for the younger ones. You know, it's their first final. I mean, actually, the year nines, this is their third final in a row. Um, they've won here, they've also lost in the final, but go out there, enjoy themselves, work hard, and, and ultimately it's a final that's there to be won, isn't it? So the, the students know that, but go out there, enjoy themselves, and represent themselves in the school well. are nearly 100 years old so the heritage behind them is massive and uh, it, it, if you look at some of the names on the trophies you'll see some, some famous ones who've played for the, the Rhinos in the past so it's great that we've got current Rhinos players here supporting the day. Uh, at schools you've always got a few players who uh, really step up and it's, uh, it's a great atmosphere I come when I was playing at school and uh, especially not uh, parents are here. With so many games in one night it's a great experience for them. Uh, obviously when I was playing at school whenever they were a professional player about we were always whispering and Obviously, I've talked to him and hopefully that would have been me one day, so uh, no, it's really important for him just to have uh, people to look up to and obviously inspire to get. Yeah, it's exciting, it's good just for me, it's the experience to come down here and, and see what the, the young kids are, are doing. Um, but yeah, I, I think uh, looking back when I was um, at their age, I, I was the same. I always loved being around a professional player and um, got really excited and, and try to show off maybe a little bit, but uh, yeah, it, it's exciting and a good opportunity for the kids. Awesome, thank you guys. Team Wilberforce is going to be out. Come on, Pete Clark. Yeah, team.